Not because the majority of people have been made to believe that something is true doesn't necessarily make it true. Most of the time, it's merely because the majority of people have all received and accepted the same false information and never bothered to research and verify it. This is the case in regard to the human history taught to us by Caucasians. Although Caucasians shares more physical characteristics with the pink Neanderthals of ancient Europe than they presently do with we melanated Africans, they've totally separated themselves from those Neanderthals of Europe and instead claim themselves as being uh, descendants from we African homo sapiens. However, it's totally unsupported by any scientific fact. They merely made up a theory and repeated it so often that people start believing it's a fact. It's absolutely not. It's never been more than a theory. A theory that actually benefits the white society. In spite of their profound racism towards the Africans, they've separated themselves from their Neanderthal ancestors and have falsely attached themselves to we Africans because doing so is necessary in order to falsely give themselves a homo sapien identity. Because we Africans are the only true homo sapiens. The true scientific term for Caucasians is actually homo sapiens sapiens. Wikipedia describes it as them as being modern humans that evolved from lower primates. They are totally separate species that evolved totally separate from we African homo sapiens. The term Homo sapiens sapiens was deliberately designated to Caucasian to confuse and fool the world to believe that they are Homo sapiens. But the, the truth is that a repeated sapiens refers to a subspecies. They are not of us. We Africans are the true Homo sapiens. The Caucasian's Darwin evolutionary theory chart does not apply to we Africans. We Africans did not evolve from lower primates. Africans have always been homo sapiens. Caucasians are not African homo sapiens. I know, I know. When lies have been told to the masses for so long, the truth will sound absolutely ridiculous and the speaker will sound like a raving lunatic. Nonetheless, what I'm saying is backed by science. Two studies published in the Nature Journal um, that looked at a DNA fossil hidden in the modern human genome found that Africans are the true homo sapiens. It has, it has been proven that our chocolate melanin skin color and our hair type are the direct result of homo sapien DNA and that Caucasian pink skin and animalistic hair type have been scientifically proven as a result of Neanderthal DNA. These studies also reveal that Caucasian fertility, predisposition to certain diseases and other characteristics are the direct result of the Neanderthal DNA. Caucasians are not African albinos. For a very long time, the Caucasians have propagated the theory that they are African homo sapiens that turn white as a result of moving to the colder climate of, of Europe, a form of cold weather albinism. But DNA analysis has also revealed that Caucasians are not African albinos. The term albinism is reserved to describe a syndrome resulting from a very drastic change in genes that disables the production of melanin. Albinism is caused by mutations in different genes that drastically decrease, decrease melanin uh, production. And in some cases, none, none is produced at all. People with albinisms have translucent skin and vision defects. More seriously in people with um, the condition of OCA1 mutation than those with OCA2 mutation. The mutation can occur in any ethnic group on, in, on all continents. The current evidence now shows that Caucasian skin, skin color is not due to albinism, but is instead due to the Neanderthal DNA. The implication of these findings are enormous. This means that the Darwin evolutionary theory chart, origin of species, does not, does not apply to we Africans. And it means that Caucasians are literally Neanderthals masquerading themselves as being homo sapiens. This might be a bit of a disappointment to those of you that favor the premise that all life originate in Africa and spread out the world. All homo sapiens come to Africa, but there were other species out here. However, that story has totally fallen apart. It's a, it's a work of fiction. Furthermore, the theory that Caucasians 
are African albinos that turn white due to um, exposure to cold climate has always been brought into question by the fact that presently there exist generations of brown skinned Eskimos that have lived with an extreme cold conditions for many, many thousands of years. These Eskimos have endured temperature below zero for many thousands of years, and yet their skins remain brown, their eyes remain brown, their hair remain black, their nose remain broad. Their features haven't begun to even start to turn any indications of turning white. None at all. Because the story is falsehood. The story that Caucasians are African are homo sapiens that turn white due to migrating to the colder climates of Europe is an absolute lie. Clearly, the Caucasians separate themselves from their Neanderthal ancestors and falsely attach themselves onto we African homo sapiens and because it was necessary to give themselves a homo sapien origin. Whenever those that otherwise despises us and that denigrates and marginalizes us so uncharacteristic turns around and they claim that they came from us, they're doing so because it somehow always benefits themselves. Isn't it ironic that for centuries, many whites have regarded black people as being the subhuman and themselves as being the true humans? However, science reveals the exact opposite. Some people may present the question that if we're different species, then how come we can interbreed at all? Perhaps we do so in the same way that a lion and a tiger, they can, they can produce, but they're separate species. As methods to analyze ancient DNA continues to improve, um, the more we'll be able to get answers on a, on a fine line about our ancient history and uh, the truth about the, uh, the evolution of our history. And the more that we learn about uh, DNA, the clearer the white race connection to Neanderthal becomes. Perhaps studying more about the Caucasian's prime eight origin will help us to better understand their ethical proclivities throughout, throughout history. This is the premise strongly held by author Michael J. Bradley, who himself is a Caucasian. Bradley writes in his book entitled The Iceman Inheritance that throughout history, the Caucasians have demonstrated an entrenched predisposition for brutal racism that is matched only by their proclivity for deceit, greed, and hunger for power. They alone are the most arrogant, uh, the race most predisposed to racism. All other races have been their enemies or their victims. Moreover, that throughout history, the Caucasians have demonstrated an almost total disregard for the human lives of non-whites. Their subjugation, murder, and exploitation of all other races are unparalleled. While labeling all other races as being um, savages throughout history, their savagery remains unmatched by all others. According to Bradley, these behaviors among Caucasians might be connected to their primate origin. Some have wondered, could the Caucasian um, calcified pineal gland uh, be, be the problem? According to many scientists, the pineal gland um, when located in the center of the brain, which produces melanin, but it's also, um, it produces the human trait characteristics and behaviors associated with possessing a soul. Uh, this includes sympathy, compassion, empathy, and remorse. It's therefore regarded as the principal seat of the soul. Scientists have found that the pineal gland within the Caucasians are over 80% calcified and are therefore non-functioning. This literally means that the pineal gland that produces the human trait characteristics and behaviors associated with possessing a soul only functions at a 20% capacity within Caucasians. Therefore, 80% of what controls the Caucasians' thoughts, decisions, behaviors in regard to their the soul does not work. When observing the, the scientific finding that 80% uh, uh, of what a soul lies within Caucasians is calcified, and then comparing the, um, these findings and um, to, to their history demonstrated, it, it, it largely makes people wonder. It's a legitimate question to ask. Is there a correlation between their calcified pineal gland and their moral behavior throughout history? It is a legitimate question. Brothers and sisters, the history we've been taught by the white society is a lie. If you don't research facts for yourself, you are mentally enslaved by them because they feed us lies that are designed to make us think in ways that, that give them greater power over us. It's time to research facts, learn the truth. They are not of us. One love and peace.